Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. I am excited to share this sweet with you. So come on and let's do it. So in here I have one and a half cups of brown sugar. I have a bay leaf. I have half of a nutmeg, a stick of cinnamon. And I'm also going to add in a few uh, cardamom pods or lychee. Let me see. Four, eight. I'm going to add 12 cardamom pods and I have some cloves. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put 10. Um, you know how I measure. <laughs> and I got a hunk of ginger here. I would say it's probably about maybe three good tablespoons. I'm just going to cut it up here and put it in my pan. All right, and I'm going to add two cups of water and get it on my stove. And what I want to do really is to infuse this essentially syrup with all of these fantastic flavors. I'll get that on the stove and I'll show you what else we're going to use. All right, so in a past video, I showed you how to make ghee um, out of regular butter. You can buy ghee, but it's um, a little on the pricey side, so I usually make my own. I have three cups of ghee here. I have six cups of all-purpose flour here. One cup of cream of wheat, just regular old cream of wheat. And I'm also going to be using a can of evaporated milk, a can of condensed milk. We'll be adding some raisins and uh, so forth. So let me get to the stove and show you the next step. All right, I have a big pot on here and I'm going, going to go into it with my ghee. Get all of it in there and... Um, get it melted all right so my ghee is melted i'm gonna go in now with um my flour now what you want to do is um just parch this so i like my parsad to be like brown in color so I go um, for quite a while just so I can achieve a brown color and also I'm using brown sugar but you can use white sugar if you want it to be light in, in color. I'm also going to go in here with my cream of wheat. That was one cup and just slowly you don't want to rush this process. It's going to take several minutes. And I'm just going to slowly parch this. And I'll come on back when, um, when we move to the next step. And I, I know you guys are probably going to want to know about my hands. This is called Mahindi or um, Henna. My daughter drew this for me. And this is worn um, as an adornment during celebrations, weddings, things like that. So I'm very lucky that my, my daughter... Uh, draws this so she drew it for me um, so like I said let's do this and I will be back all right so we're chugging along here I have some uh, powdered cardamom or lychee I'm gonna add in I'm calling that about a teaspoon I love the taste of this and powdered ginger I'm gonna say about a half of a teaspoon all right and we're still going I want this to get some more color and okay so we're chugging along here and if you can see our color is changing to a little bit darker oh my gosh it smells so good already it brings back memories um, just a little backstory um, since I'm doing this dish I was born and raised in the Caribbean, Trinidad to be exact, and I have been very fortunate to be exposed to different cultures and cuisines, 
Um, and that's because about, I would say about 40% of the population in Trinidad came from West Africa during slavery times. And then another maybe 40% or so um, came from East India after the abolishment of slavery. Um, so then the rest of the population is comprised of like Syrians, Chinese, um, Anglo, Hispanics. And so now we have this kind of melting pot and everyone brought with them their culture and their religious beliefs. And it just kind of fused together. There's this dish in, in Trinidad called Kalalu where there's a bunch of ingredients that's just all mixed up. Well, <laughs> even the people and the culture is all mixed up. And by that I mean, um, and this is one part of my culture that I really like, is that whether you're a Hindu or Christian or Muslim or whatever your belief is, whenever the time comes for some kind of celebration related to that, like Diwali, um, Eid, Christmas, pretty much, I'm not saying everyone, but pretty much everyone is really accepting of other people's beliefs and um, they embrace that celebration. So uh, Hindus would cook and share their food with everybody and everyone celebrates Christmas, everyone embraces Eid. It's just a really festive time and our culture is... <laughs> They always say Trinidadians find any reason for a party, any reason for party and cooking and all of that. Yep, we're there. So, right, so I think this has parched enough and even while you're mixing it, you can tell that the texture has changed. Um, so now I'm going to go in here with my liquid and you're going to need a lot of elbow grease now. I'm just going to strain off all of the spices and stuff that are in here. I'm going to crank up my heat and start mixing. Now I'm also going to add, remember our milk that we had before? Condensed milk and the evaporated milk. And I also have four cups of whole milk here. Um, I haven't put all yet. Let me see what it looks like once I mix. And like I said, you're going to need elbow grease. Take your time, don't worry, keep mixing. I'm gonna keep mixing here and come back so you can see where we're at, but you can see it's already coming together. We're gonna need more liquid. I'm gonna use all of it. I'm keeping on mixing. All right, so this is pretty much done. This is the time where I'm going to take out some for my son before I add the raisins because if I add raisins to it, he's not going to eat it. All right. Uh, let me grab my raisins. And you don't have to put raisins if you don't want to, but um, usually it's served with raisins inside. And I'll plate it up so you can see how lovely it is. Okay, guys, here you have it. Have this all plated up. Look at that. Just the smell of the combination of these fruits and that parasite brings back serious memories. Look at that. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen. I had fun making this. And I'm so glad that you joined me. Please come back next time because I'll be making another sweet that's so addicting, you're not going to believe it. Okay, guys. Bye.